In this video, I'll show you how to import products from AliExpress to WooCommerce Store. Let's get straight into it. For example, I'll show you how to import the product directly from AliExpress, similar to this one and this one here. So if we click on it, you can see here we are displaying the AliExpress title. Personally, I'd recommend changing the title. We've also got the description along with all the image as well, demonstrating the product, which is really good. And I'll show you how to automatically mark up the price to reduce time spent editing it later on. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, we'll be using the Alinex Lead plugin. And we'll also be using the all-in-one checkout plugin just to increase our conversion rate on a checkout page. I'll leave a link to all these plugins in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is install the required plugins. So we'll go plugins, add new. All right, so we'll just search for Alinex and we'll install this particular plugin here. So let's hit install, activate, and then we just need to make sure we install the all-in-one checkout plugin to maximize our conversion on a checkout page. All right, so assuming you've installed that plugin also, we'll go ahead and import products from AliExpress. So we'll just navigate to Alinex here. And then from here, we can go ahead and search for a particular product, for example, we can scroll through and then once we're happy with the particular product in which we want, we can just go ahead and hit add to import list. For example, I can add this one to our import list. I should mention that we've got two methods in adding a product to our import list. So first we've got this inbuilt search system, or we can use the Chrome extension, which is a lot faster and will allow us to bulk import products into our import list. So first we'll go ahead and add products using this inbuilt method, and then we'll use the Chrome extension. All right, so we've already added a product to our import list. So now let's navigate over to our import list. Okay, and then we can push this particular product to our store. Okay, so now if we head over to all products, we should see this particular product here into our store. So we can go ahead and edit it. Okay, we've got the featured image, the product gallery, we've got the description along with all the different images. Okay, and we can also customize the pricing as well. So if we head over to variations, here we can go ahead and customize the pricing. All right, so this is the AliExpress regular price and this is the AliExpress sales price. So here it's displaying it as the sale price. Of course, we want to mark up our products. First, let's go ahead and change the pricing now. Let's say $25. Now let's say we wanted to bulk update the pricing for all these particular variations. We'll just go on bulk action and then we'll say increase regular price by a percentage amount. So we say by 25%, we'll use the percentage sign and then we'll just hit okay. All right, and now when we look at this product here, we can see the regular price is, sorry, we can see the sale price is $16, but we've increased the price by 25%, All right? So we'll just hit save changes. Okay, and now let's head back over to Alinex. So again, we'll click on search product. And then I'm just going to click on get extension here, get Chrome extension. I'm going to add this to my browser. Okay, so that's added fine. Now let's head over to AliExpress. All right, let's stick with the kitchen example for now, because that's an item I brought recently off AliExpress. All right, so now that we're on this search page here, if we click on our extension tab, let's scroll down and we should see Right, and here we can see this AliExpress drop shipping. So I'm just going to pin this. All right, so I'm just going to right click this extension here. Then I'll click options. All right, now we just need to add in our store's API key. So let's head back over to our store. Let's navigate over to settings. Let's navigate to API key. Let's go ahead and add one. Okay, we can give it a name. It's just for internal purposes. Let's copy this API key. Let's hit save changes. All right, let's head back over to our Chrome extension. Let's paste in our API key, hit add store. All right, let's allow this particular extension to read the websites that we're browsing. Okay, and there it's authenticated it successfully. Let's do the search again. And then now we can actually add products to our import list. Okay, so we can add um, this particular product and this is the actual product which I brought. So you can go ahead and choose viral products similar to this that you can add to your dropshipping store. So I've added a few products to my list here. So we can click open list, which will take us directly over to our import list, or we can just navigate over to import list here. Okay, and here we can see the products in which we've added to our import list. And if you've added multiple different products, you can go ahead and 
tick this item here and then just bulk add all those products to your website. Okay, so whilst adding a product to our website, we can choose the category. I'm assuming you've already created a category beforehand. We can add a tag and we can also customize the SKU code as well. We can set the type so this can either be a simple or variable product or even an affiliate or external product, right? Meaning when a customer hits the buy button, they'll take them directly over to AliExpress instead of going through our own checkout process. All right, so I personally recommend just choosing um, a simple slash variable product. This way you can significantly mark up the product. Whereas if you used to just use an affiliate link, then I'm not too sure the percentage in which AliExpress offers, it wouldn't be as much as you would make um, selling it um, yourself. Okay, so once you're happy with all the products in your import list, just hit push to shop. We can change the name as well. I recommend changing the name. Be more creative with the name because if you leave the name exactly as it is, a customer can just quickly um, Google search the name and they'll find that AliExpress listing. So you do want to customize the name and also the text as well. Even if you're going to add your store's watermark over this image, I think it's well worth it. All right, so we'll push this one to our store as well. Okay, so one other thing to mention with the free version, you can only import up to 100 products. Whereas if you get the pro version, you can import unlimited products and you also get access to more features as well. So let's head over to all products and let's go ahead and see if our products is imported. Okay, so all our products is imported fine. So I should mention I've created another video showing you how to actually import the reviews from AliExpress onto your WooCommerce store. So I'll leave a link on screen and in the description to that particular video. Now, the final thing you might want to do is go ahead and actually optimize the checkout experience so you can increase your conversion rate and also your average order value. So we'll navigate over to all in one at checkout. So AIO checkout here. We'll click create new checkout. We'll choose our layout. So you can use your theme default layout or you can choose one of our custom layouts here. So I personally recommend just going with this one. It's a Shopify inspired checkout. Based on various different studies, the Shopify checkout design usually gets a 15% higher conversion rate over other designs. All right, so we'll choose this design here. We'll navigate over to fields. We can customize the fields. Let's just quickly move this over to the right. Okay, that looks fine. Let's navigate over to settings, enable. Let's set this as our default checkout. We can add a name. We can name this checkout. It's just for internal purposes. And then we'll just hit save changes. So let's go ahead and view a particular product. All right, so when we go ahead and purchase a particular product, let's view the checkout page. And here we've got this optimized layout. And we can add various different upsells as well to increase the average order value, which will be super important, especially if you're running paid ads as well to these particular products. All right, so let's quickly head back over to our dashboard. And I just want to show you one key settings that we should configure. So let's head back over. So let's navigate over to Alinex settings and it's pricing rules. We want to navigate over to pricing rules here. Mm -hmm. So earlier I showed you how to mark up the products on a product level, whereas here in the global settings, we can actually create a multiplier or even a fixed price markup or even a custom price. So for example, we can say we can add a 2.3 markup here. You can use the advanced pricing rules as well. But for my situation, I think this makes sense. So if a product's $10, then we're offering it for $23. Okay. And then in this case, I'm going to add the shipping price to the product price, and then we'll do the markup on the total cost. Save settings. And then it just means every time you import a product, it'll automatically be marked up and ready to go. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in a comment box.